Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Margaret Atwood from her selected poems 1966 to 1984, published by Oxford University Press in 1990. This poem um, that I'm going to read is the last poem of the, the collection and is entitled Interlunar. Darkness waits apart from any occasion for it. Like sorrow, it is always available. This is only one kind. The kind in which there are stars above the leaves, brilliant as steel nails and countless and without regard. We are walking together on dead, wet leaves in the intermoon, among the looming nocturnal rocks which would be pinkish gray in daylight, gnawed and softened by moss and ferns, which would be green in the musty, fresh yeast smell of trees rotting, earth returning itself to itself. And I take your hand, which is the shape a hand would be if you existed truly. I wish to show you the darkness you are so afraid of. Trust me, this darkness is a place you can enter and be as safe in as you are anywhere. You can put one foot in front of the other and believe the sides of your eyes. Memorize it. You will know it again in your own time. When the appearances of things have left you, you will still have this darkness. Something of your own you can carry with you. We have come to the edge. The lake gives off its hush. In the outer night, there is a barred owl calling like a moth against the ear from the far shore, which is invisible. The lake, vast and dimensionless, doubles everything. The stars, the boulders itself, even the darkness that you can walk so long in, it becomes light. Um, that was Margaret Atwood. Interlunar from her selected poems, 1966 to 1984. Um, and this originally appears um, in another collection. I'm trying to see if I have this here. Well, in any case, um, if you would like to check out uh, or learn more about this poem and more about Margaret Atwood, please check out the description of the video for more information, as well as information about where to find other projects I'm currently working on. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment below if there are things in particular you liked about this video, about this poem, um, or if you have recommendations for poets or poems that you would like to see featured on this channel. Um, if you enjoy and want to support this project, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. You'll be notified every time there's a new video. I have new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Um, it's always a pleasure and a delight to be able to read for you. And I hope that in some small measure, these videos, these uh, readings are opportunities for you to discover or rediscover poems and poets that, um, that, <coughs> sorry poems and poets that you might have a personal connection with. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to, to take advantage of technology to do this and thankful for all of you who take the time to listen to these videos. Um, apologize for the earlier version of this video, which uh, was released without me double checking to see if the mic was working properly. Um, apparently it wasn't. So we had me gesturing around, reading in complete silence. Uh, there is no sound in space, so perhaps that was appropriate. But uh, in any case, I wish you all the very best. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. We'll be back again with more poetry and more reading very soon. Uh, until next time, stay safe and well, and stay actively engaged in the work of creating art, building bridges, and finding ways to connect with others. And until we meet again, and until I read again, um, take care and be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.